Hey folks, Henry here, and you're watching So today, we're looking for silverweed, but I don't think we're going to find it here in the forest. I know, let's ask one of our forest friends. Come on, let's go. Sally! Hold your hot Sally! I'm on my way! Hey little guy, can you tell me where Silverweed's at? Go to the coast. That's where you'll find her. You must tell her. I love her. And I'm on my way. I think what our little buddy's trying to tell us is we need to go to the coast. I know. How about we go to the beach instead? Wow, we're really at the beach. Let's look for Silverweed. Did you know Silverweed's real name is Argentina and Serena? Though the coastal version is actually a subspecies called Argentina e Jedi, commonly known as Pacific Silverweed. Silverweed is in the Rosa Cii family and is related to the rose, strawberry, raspberry, sorbus, apple, and so much more. Silverweed has long been regarded as an important source for food and medicine, and was widely used by the Native Americans as well as early European colonies. In Europe, the plant was used to treat jaundice or as a diuretic to disperse gravel from the organs. A strong infusion of the whole plant was used as a lotion to stop piles bleeding. A poultice of the warmed leaves was used as a mild pain reliever. Native Americans harvested silverweed for their long roots eating the small tubers which resembled little potatoes. When cooked, roots have been reported to taste like sweet potato or chestnut, and like the potato, it is a great source of carbohydrates.